my God. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody just calm down. Help. Here. Oh. Take my hand. Ah. Come on. <laughs> You're going to fall unless you take my hand. No, give me your other hand. Oh, my other hand isn't strong enough. You take my little hand. No, get it away from me. Take it. Take my hand. No. Oh, the email's going, uh, Rob. Uh, four ten, I think. Um, oh, okay, not too bad. I've uh, I'm seventeen of, away I'm... from a thousand. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be should happy kick, for me. Should we kick? I am. Down? Can't you we tell? Just had that whole discussion. You had that whole discussion, <laughs> and you can't even be happy for me. I am. This is me being happy. I think it's fucking oh, awesome. Okay. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's great. I, I think a thousand. That. Good for you. I want two thousand. <laughs> you can make a hundred grand. Fuck that. Half a mil. That's what I want to see. Get on it. Get on it. I want it to be the best book in CG. I know you could do it. I know you could do great. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to make 200 day one. All right. Day two, another 200. Day three, 400. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to see. Nothing so but success for you and your family. I want your, I want your kids to grow up and be millionaires. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's Thank it. you. I'm touched. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I wish all the same for you too, Camel. <laughs> it's not funny. If we I wish up. I. You look very hairy in that clip too. Oh uh, yeah, well I had got hair. I mean I have a haircut now, but at that time I was, you know, doing my '80s stockbroker thing. So, does your wife cut your hair? With a bowl. <laughs> mm. like just... <laughs> All done. No, no joke. My mom used to do that when I was in like high school. It looks now yeah. like someone puts like a um, like one of those those uh, butter plates on your head and just shaves around the mm. <laughs> the butter dish. <laughs> is Rob coming in a little hot for you, Camel, or is that just me? Hot, loud. Yeah, I'm not okay. saying you are hot, and although you, it looks like you've just done your your Rob Hawk. No, it's looking good. No, no. Am I loud? Are you well, saying I'm loud? Is that what you're saying? A little bit loud, a little bit hot. Yeah, yeah. I can turn it down. Uh, welcome everybody to the draw stream. We've postponed it because last night we did a jacks and Rob was what, what was going on. Oh, Rob, you're. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you want to say it. It's a family thing. I had my kids' um, kindergarten graduation. It was really cute. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Did they throw their little hats up in the air? They did, dude. They had little <laughs> gowns on and those little hats. What? And they threw them up oh, in the really? air. Yeah, man. It was cool. It was really cool. I've never done that at, at my kids' things. It's just usually like, oh, we're going to have a Christmas party or something. Yeah. No, it was awesome. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that was a thing either, Atheline. Uh, welcome to the show. I know we're up against um, post Kangs, uh, but that's okay. We're, we're always happy to have a little bit of a intimate show. Speaking of, here's Mo Binks. Mo loves it when I say it's intimate. Uh, he's first, even though we don't usually do first on the, um, on the draw stream. It's okay. Grant V Crosby says, it's nice to see a stream on just when I need one. Well, I hope you're going to enjoy watching me struggle. He says, I, um... he says, can't sleep. Don't worry, bro. We got you. You'll be there <laughs> soon enough. <laughs> Micra's here. Who else is here? Uh, Jay Ryan's here. Simply green. Simply green is also over on rumble. Along with four Ooh. others. That's a good Oof. ratio tonight, actually. That's like a quarter of the viewers over on Rumble mm. tonight. Maybe a fifth. Uh, Sumo Thoris here. I see you. AGE Comics. Atheline. Uh, Matty Fowler. Who else? Who else? Uh, Ray Harlock and uh, B Rose. B Rose, did you see my, my post of um, Georgie, the racist dog? I put it on Twitter and uh, YouTube. I did that for you and Mo, so you guys would be able to know what she looked like. Speaking of dogs, here's uh, Marby Dog. 
Um, all right. I'm just going to jump right into it tonight. I'm sick of all these people trying to show me up on their draw streams actually getting shit done. Oh, yeah, it's in the community. Story has just gifted five memberships to... Oh, sumo. Come on, Sumo. Sumo, Sumo. sumo. Mark, uh, Joe, Salty, Corralt, Spike, and 709. You guys, I don't, I don't know what I did to deserve you, but uh, no, nothing. Thanks, lads. That was not nothing. planned. You both said that at the exact same time. That's because we feel the same way. Like we're yeah, getting right. exactly. Right. God damn, Michael Bancroft. <laughs> Stealing all my super chats and members. <laughs> it was my idea to have members. No one in CG had members before me. Ass. <sighs> Mm. How how are we going, guys? What's news? What's happening? Um, uh, we did a we did a CG Jack show last night. We had a really good crowd in there, like a hundred. a lot, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a, it was a popular show. We covered a lot of topics. I and... think we need to find a way. I don't know how it is, but to do that mandatory once every other week. Let me think about it. Yeah, I think it's a, I think good, it is a show. good show. It yeah. is a good show. It, it, mostly because Rob's not would, there, but it's really, you know, hits on all cylinders. You know? How I would swing that. But um, <laughs> Rob, Camel was just asking me, like, why is Rob always so antagonistic towards you? And then he comes in and uh, that's what he swings. So what? I told him that you and I, we like have this uh, enmity together. It's how we show our feelings for each other. Hmm feelings men don't have feelings yeah. gay men have feelings <laughs> uh smiling bandito hail and well met um what was the oof for can't remember stephen rockwood says kick camel Thank so what did you yeah. talk about is it, is it basically just your and mike and rob show but with camel instead and it gets more viewers and covers the same topics is that is basically what it is no it's it's no. more um pop culture related mm. we don't talk about um you know shipping prices over and over and over uh <laughs> ad nauseum or, or late books ad nauseum what, what else <laughs> so, is there to talk about though? I, apparently a lot <laughs> <laughs> believe it or not so uh bandito says love and nostalgia of this cover it's new but it's old oh thanks that was very robot. uh Mike, I was thinking, you know, to make sure that this cover goes smoothly, uh, I'm going to micromanage every single brushstroke that you make. Incorrect. <laughs> I want to see every one, and then I'll tell you to do it or redo it. And <laughs> see how how fast that goes. Are you are you working on the um on the uh, inks? Uh, no, I took a break from that. I'm doing something else. Um, show it. I'm not going to, I can show it, but I'm not going to say what it's for because I want that to be a surprise, but I, I can show it. That's fine. But it is for the campaign. A little bit more leeway on my microphone here. Oh, yeah. Boobies. That's what I did. I zoomed in. All the way. I just made that the thumbnail. Yeah. Yeah. That's smart. Uh huh. That's how you know that you're an artist. You know, if you could draw breastuses. Mm -mm. I do have news, though. Uh, we hit 26K on Boots and Heels this morning. That's, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> I would say that's cool, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, we're going to be, uh, you know, I did that four day sale. Four I really like the way you did that. I really like the way you did that camel. I'll just say. What's that? Did what? The four day sale. I thought it was good. It was like a new perk. Yeah. That, that wasn't available and it was available on the four days. Oh yeah. Cause everyone was doing just actual sales and I was like, well, I don't know. Let me offer something new and different, you know, because then you know it's something different at least um and then it doesn't piss off the people who spent full price either because i don't want to do that so, yeah i don't know when this became a thing and all of a sudden everyone's doing it 
And yeah, everyone's like twenty percent really, off. I'm I like, don't I'm really not like it. Twenty percent off. It's I'm like, like I it's one of those convos, Mike. We're gonna have to have on our show. Yeah, that's yeah. Not I'm not be personally. Fun. I'm not really down with it. Mm. Uh, for 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 crowdfunding, I'm not really down with it. Well, also, I think offering a discount on something that you haven't delivered yet is a little much because it's like, you know, you haven't delivered it yet. So what, what's I the remember instant? everyone reaming Liam, like oh, yeah. raking him over the coals for doing that. That was pretty bad, though, Mike. That was like, that was. Yeah. yeah I mean, oh, yeah. I, was... I mean, I still think in principle, it's still. Yeah. I don't know. It's not cricket for me. Because it was like half price, wasn't it? Like it was something yeah. crazy. <laughs> so yeah, half price. It's clear this stuff. It's like, bro, you haven't even. Yeah, that's crazy. So anyway, yeah, I put that up and we sold 16 of them. Um, Ooh, I'm going to take nice. it down at the end of this stream. So it'd be awesome if we could get to 20. Uh, that would be just great. Uh, so if you guys are interested in it and when I take it down, it's coming down. It's down. Which, down. which, which one is it? I made it the featured tier. So oh, it's, it's a lava one. foil. Yeah. What's lava foil? I mean, that sounds sick. Lava foil is, the, I've shown it like a million times now, but it's okay. Let me do it again. It's this one here, Rob. Oh, the Snogan's one. Yeah, yeah so nice. it was specific to um, how oh, the yeah, foils cool. laid out. You see that? Yeah. So that's not like the typical foil that you guys get. And then it looks pretty good through the black too on the back there. Yeah, sick. So that will be that X them cover. Uh, it'll have eight pages of pinups in the back, which is different from the basic issue zero. And it comes with that giant X ma'am sticker. Uh, also, it's included in the uh, shoebox tier. So if you got that, then it'll come with it. Hail uh, Ran Nada over on Rumble. And hello, Hi Hyper Wizard. Remember, I was trying to find that hyper wizard piece. Yeah, I told him today. He was watching. I did a stream this morning, you know. So I was like, yeah. And he 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 commented, and he was like, "Oh no, I played myself." And I found his name. It's so much worse than I even remembered. It's just like every letter is some weird alternative <laughs> version of the actual letter. It's not even from real things. I don't even know what it's how. I didn't. Even, I didn't even know how he did it. So yeah, can't find Hyper Wizard on Twitter by just searching for him. So um, you, might, you know what you should have done? You should have gone to Shane's um, page and then look for that image, that piece he did. Ah, yeah, I didn't think of that. It's okay. This is a this is an interesting orange you've gone for on the skin, Mike. What I'm a, what do you I'm adjusting it, Rob. What what are you thinking? It's because it's because I've got it set to linear light, okay? Which means you get some funny things. It's really good for if you want stuff to make look like it's kind of like shining and stuff, but I don't necessarily want that on the skin. So um is that what you're is that look you're going for? Yeah. I'm Sorry, sure that was a very that? funny joke, Rob, but no one heard it. I didn't know that you spoke Klingon. <laughs> Do you want to say that again? No, my not working. <laughs> Potato he said it exactly can like you did the first time. <laughs> he doesn't realize that I actually, I actually uh, did that. I made wow. it so that we couldn't hear his insulting joke. That's okay. I'm done with I'm done with Rob's insults. Enough insults for a lifetime. You know, I wanted to do I was gonna do these um sort of shadows and stuff last night while we were watching uh memory, which we watched. Oh, did you like it? It was all right, yeah. It it, it was like it's like you think these days are oh, everything every movie has to be like this massive big blockbuster but yeah it was it was a you know it's a decent decent yeah it's, uh, a, it's a definitely a smaller movie. movie but it's yeah i think it's very competently put together yeah, yeah absolutely but anyway i wanted to do this sort of soft brushing stuff and then i realized i don't have soft brush set up on my ipad i must have deleted it at some point and i don't know oh. how to get it back on my clip studio <laughs> 
<laughs> so I was like, oh, well, that's a that's a problem. Uh, Sumo Thori, back in number 272. Consider it a super chat camel. All right. Let me see. Let me. Uh, I guess actually, Mike, uh, Rob, you can refresh it because I don't think I even have it up. I don't have it up. All right. Oh, wait, I do have it up. Oh. Oh, look at that. Ta-da. Hal Sumo. Thank you. Hal Sumo, yeah. That is, that's like, that's the best super chat there is. I would prefer if mm -hmm. everyone would just back instead of uh, super yeah. chatting. But that's just me. I get it. I get when you're like, you know, you have something important to say. And you're like, I need, I need to throw some cash down to put my thoughts out there but thank you very much sumo you the man is, is rob coming back or did he just <laughs> he just bailed on us he's, he's putting some wd-40 down his throat <laughs> <laughs> i actually i never used to use soft brush in the colors um oh. And I, I picked it up from Corey because he was using it a bit. Who picked it up from Kyle Ritter? Because uh -huh. I was always like, I'd look at the soft brush and I'd go, uh, it looks too soft. But then I, I realized people were, you, they weren't using it in conjunction with the, the, like the, the harder cuts and stuff. I so, see. Yeah, that's why it, was, it lo doesn't look as good. But as just a base kind of underlay, like if you look at him here, the uh, claw, clawed agent, so it oh, still yeah, looks like really nice and clean when you put the cell shading on. And I'm going to, the cell shading isn't the end either. That's going to be, that's like just the the beginning. But if I take the, um, if I take the shadows off, it looks kind of flat. Yeah. So are so, you going to do like the, um, the, the, uh, what do you call it? The, there's a, there's a name for it. Um, what do they call it? It's like the, uh, uh, shit, what's it called? It, like the lasso gradient technique, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'll use these as um as a kind of yeah, like because the, now they're saved, I'll use them as that lasso. So I'll just be able to like use the soft brush oh, inside. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Inside the actual cuts. Uh, that's that's the technique I use pretty much most of the time now, and comes out really good. It just, it, it's like, it adds depth to cell shading. Whereas if you just keep it like this, it looks okay. It looks okay. It doesn't look like fantastic and it's actually kind of finicky. But uh, if you want to really give it some depth and stuff, you got to. Um... And are you going to, at the end, go above the ink layer to do like your highlights? Yeah, on the like a like a glowing um, like the chrome yes. stuff too is good too. Yeah, 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 absolutely. All right, you're yeah, you don't want to go too overboard with it, but right, it's it's got to be done. So on a piece like this, definitely, I don't do any of that on um on like my interiors or anything like that because it's just. Like I know if I start adding new techniques and stuff into my interior colors, it's it's never gonna stop. Oh yeah. I decided on a style, that's what I do, and I'm sticking with it. Um because it's you know, it's it's comic book art. You have to also get it out. I mean, yeah, we could spend a lifetime on this, you know. Exactly. Which I told you was fine if you wanted to spend five months on it, but someone has to get more work done. So, potato. What? <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> Rob just uh, jumps in to say potato. Uh, I think I can tell what uh, Camel's favorite color is. What? Oh, yeah. Purple. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I like. I used to like maroon a lot, but I do like purple because. Oh uh, my it's just god, a... maroon! Fucking hell, you're one of those people. People with taste. Maroon artists. five. Red. Weird red. Red. <laughs> red rum. Red rum. 
I like teal. That's my favorite color. I, I'm into turquoise now. I like turquoise. Uh, well. What is wrong with you? Choose like a real color, like a basic color. Yeah, be like boring. Like aubergine. Oh my Aquamarine. God. Thank you. <laughs> Simply Green goes, it's not pink, it's salmon. Thank you. Although salmon is not necessarily pink. Salmon is an orange pink, whereas pink is a red pink. Or is like a red hue. So, um, what are you doing, Mike? I am doing a shadow layer. Mm. On the uh, on the sounds characters. racist. Is it racist? Mike. Well, Mike is racist. Mm. It's not racist at all. My dog was racist. Camel, why have you gone for yellow for the? the I assume it's the bad guy, the Magneto guy. Um, well, because his suit's gold. Oh, that's cool. He's gold. Yeah, I, I've always actually kind of equated gold with bad, um, because it's ostentatious, especially to have as like your outfit. So I thought it would be cool if he had a gold, you know, because he's kind of full of himself. You guys in chat are just making up words: burnt umber, Indian red. Burnt Sienna, Robin's Egg Blue. What is Corn wrong with you? Cornflower Blue. How about that? Cornflower blue, blue is a cool song. Cool song. It's a cool color, too. Uh, Hyper Wizard says Have you experimented with color tinted line art? Will you be adding any kind of fog to create depth? Yeah, Mike, how can you make yeah. this work? Uh, well, behind, say, here. We can have fog or dust or whatever behind. Um, yeah, sort of robust. separating the foreground. Yeah. And then from the there's an even a little bit more behind clawed agent. Although his 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 claws will be very shiny. Although he's right in front of other sort of chrome chrome legs, so the, there will need to be some kind of separation there. But yes, I will almost certainly have to employ some holds uh on this almost certainly but we'll see it's like with coloring it's it's a uh it's a it's as much a kind of a trial and error um figure it out as you go sort of thing uh it's it's obvious it is an art form but it's also like a, a a puzzle and a bit of a science to it as well so you just i have you just start with something and then the cool thing that i do is uh, i work in masks so if anything is like overcooked like just say i decide i think those shadows are a bit overcooked on his skin i can just tone them down super easy or i can get rid of them like it's it's that easy um, that rock in the background kind of looks like a condom <clears throat> like a used condom like like it's a dead got, Jimmy? It's just a got a soil? condom shape. Mm -hmm. You figured it out, Rob. You you cracked the Da Vinci code there. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> I didn't think anyone would ever get it. But <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> you unlock the mysteries of the universe now. Good, good job. <laughs> Shit. Mike, uh, our cover looks sensational. You, you did a good job on that one. Oh, the um, the reprint. Mm, yeah. Thank you. You mm. say ours because you suggested yes. the red. Is that exactly that right? Yeah, correctly. So it's, I'm, I'm yep. co-owner now. Um, Camel, is there any uh, depth to his mask? Like, is it? Is it curved at all, or is it like does it oh, wrap boots? around his face, or does it sort of sit on the front? Uh, I would imagine it if you were it's um, you know it's curved. It's probably would maybe have like a sort of a a basic gloss to it. Um, imagine like a shiny uh, hockey mask in, in that sense. Yeah, yeah. 
Alright. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Jolly Green <laughs> says this stream is a dead Jimmy. What's a dead Jimmy? Is that a thing? A dead Jimmy is a, a used condom. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least it, at least it had fun for a while. <laughs> it served its purpose. It died with honor. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Whoops. Drawing some things that are really big is actually harder. I'm trying to draw this giant fist here, and uh, it's kind of vexing. I've, I've done it like eight times. Yeah, well, everything you know, you amplify anything, the every single line all of a sudden becomes it's it's yeah, like much more scrutinized. Yeah, like it just looks it looks wonky. Do do the eye holes change like shape, Camel? Like to express emotion or no? Uh yeah. They didn't in like my you know, the one I made when I was a kid. They were always yeah, slanty, but it didn't make any sense. And I was like, I need to evoke some type of emotion. And then mm -hmm. I was like, well, it's stupid. It doesn't make sense that their eyes would change. But I was like, whatever, it's fucking fake anyway. So mm. it, and what I found, which is very interesting, is that you can evoke, I would say 90% of emotion is done in the eyes and eyebrows. Whereas, yeah, you know, it's like you could say like, oh, well, they don't have a mouth, so they can't grimace or smile. But you don't need to do that. Like you could there's you can just draw their um their eyes like if i was to do this uh shit you can do it like this draw happy eyes so i know what that looks like that's what i'm trying to do here it means in life <laughs> yeah so like she looks a little bit more delighted um yeah. you know whereas if i just did it if i did this Oh, let me get back. Oh shit, she's angry now. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Now she's kind of pissed off. And then, if you want to do like confusion, you can go straight on one, and then high on the other. Oh, that's a little too much, but I get the point. Where she's like, "Oh shit, what's going on?" Mm, that's cool. You know? I like it. Yeah. I mean, these, are, these aren't the best examples, but, you know, so like, he was just surprised. And then, like, yeah. you could also change a little bit if you invert it. If so, if I, if I go like this, now she's really confused. Oh, cool. Yeah. Sumo says, now draw them slanty camel. Okay, I'll draw them like I used to draw them. <laughs> <laughs> very sleepy <laughs> yeah i don't i don't do that anymore <laughs> i don't get angry letters you know so mike are you, are you making any, any progress on this or yeah i'm making adjustments mm. can't mm. you see no oh. well i am for realsies. I'm working hard. You can tell I'm working hard because I'm not talking as much. I'm going to put the link in the chat because we're at 17 of these hollow foils sold. So if we can get to 20 by the end of the night, and then I'm going to take Please it down do. after the stream. So again, I, this happens every time I put something up on any campaign. After it's done, people hit me up like, hey, I missed it. <laughs> Can you put it back up? So have you done an update saying that it's going down? No, because I well, I, I sent an email out Friday saying it was going up. I don't want to. Okay. I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. If you burden people too much, they they unsubscribe. So yeah, Hot Wizard says for a moment there, I thought you meant the Streamyard the Streamyard link. I did. Oh too, no, no, we don't want you here. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. I was about to tell Camel, like, hey, 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 hey. hey what are you doing here? Here, buddy. 
Jesus. I mean, we're Trying friendly. To maintain yeah. some, yeah, credibility. I do, I do like your call-in shows, Mike. I wish, I wish you do them more often. It's always about wow having the um wow. Well, like you know, you like you're happy to see ninety percent of the people who call in. Yeah, you know, but there's always going to be that percentage of people who are just calling in to troll you and you just like have to kind of sit there and go yeah okay all right it's tough too when you don't really want the person there uh mike and i started a show it's like a game show and we've had to find this third person we had no idea and uh you know it was gonna be phil diaz he couldn't do it so we had to find this other guy and he just will not leave i wish Um, it was phil diaz (laughs) me too (laughs) (laughs) Camel's <laughs> um, on a tear tonight. I oh, know. <laughs> JJ Ryan says, "Why would you say that about Jasper, Mike?" Tis tis. It wasn't Jasper. No, I've had people who call in who I know for a fact don't like me. Oh, who? Can I say their names? Yeah. Yeah, what are you gonna? Let me just let's start a war. <laughs> yeah, oh, CD so... doesn't have enough infighting. Let's start another. <laughs> uh, Stephen says uh, sometimes Rob has been the only thing that made the game show tolerable. Thanks, Stephen. How much did you pay him for that comment? Yeah, thanks, Stephen. Wink, wink. It checks in the mail, Stephen. <laughs> well done. Micra said, who was the girl who called and kept going on that she was Muslim and trying to start a fight with someone on the show? Was it Camel? <laughs> was it me? What? Was that the time that I let someone in, Mike, and they were crazy? Yeah, that was that's yeah. what he's talking about. Yeah. That's not a girl. That wasn't a girl. <laughs> that was, that a was Alyssa. That was the, the the terrorist thing. He went on to Ethan's as well, I think. <laughs> oh yeah. I got an email from Alyssa yesterday. Yeah. And they, it was like, please what? unblock me. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll get right on that. Yeah, no, funny. I will not be un I will not be unblocking Alyssa. You don't you don't come onto my channel within a in a, a hood a brandishing a knife yelling gypsy curses. That's just a not the done thing. It's just not the done thing. Yeah, have some decorum, guys. Mm. Leave Allah out of it. Hey, Mike, I reckon you should, like, work on the gold guy because that would be cool. Just throwing that out there. I've already worked on the gold guy. More. His name is Robust. No, because he is going to take a lot of um, chroming. Like, it's going to be a lot of extra stuff. Uh, this is the this is the first pass, yeah. So I want to get all these done. That's the shadows. I want to get all these done. That's the highlight, like the kind of main highlight. And this guy's going to take a lot more on the highlights. There's all these bits, and I've got to kind of look at other how other people have done Chrome because he's going to catch light. Like there's going to be parts in here that are going to be like see down here maybe from here onwards going that way, that's going to catch some purple from um, Claude Agent, you know? And I just got to... That's going to be more of a, like, trial and error sort of thing. Did everyone else tune out when Mike was explaining that? No, I heard him. I'm okay. listening. Mm. This is a, <laughs> this is a draw you, li- you listen to Mike, not your wife. Everyone comes here to learn the <laughs> mysteries of amazing comic book art. That's why they're here. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. <laughs> I think when I think of the greats, you know, Dicko, Miller, Bancroft. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> Camel knows oh, what's okay. up. You're too confused. Could you imagine, Camel, if like, you know, like 20 years time, Michael became a legend of comic books and we were here with him because I just can't see it happening. That's an old thing with Jesus. You know, he was not, Jesus was not. Um, <laughs> Yeah, he was not. He was not respected. Like, could you imagine if this Jesus guy actually became? (laughs) Yeah, he was like, he was like, he's not well respected in Nazareth. (laughs) They were like, that's the that's that's the carpenter's son. Why would I listen to him? (laughs) What is a rather large opinion of? (laughs) Can someone please clip that? Can someone please clip Michael comparing himself to Jesus? That's never that's never gone wrong for anyone. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. That's my whole that's my whole marketing platform for 2023, bigger than Jesus. You should run for president on that. See how well that does. <sighs> I, I like purple Carmen San Diego, Camel. <laughs> I love Carmen San Diego. I was a big fan <laughs> of Carmen growing up. Who wasn't? She was kind of hot, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying, you know. That's what disk drives were for. What? <laughs> What does that even mean? I don't even know. I'm just like, I think that was a sex joke. I'm just gonna be like, whatever. You know what it's like? It's like when you go to like a bad comedian show and you're like, oh, I get that there was a joke there, but people just kind of look at each other. You're like, all right, how many more drinks do I? What's the minimum? Can I go now? Oh shit. <sighs> How much has changed from the comic, like when you when you wrote it till now, Camel? Uh, the the structure is still there. Um, are the characters the same, or have they changed? The characters are about the same. So the one thing I did with the new version or the current version is there's a, a lot of stand-in characters. So there's a stand-in Captain America, stand-in Ninja Turtles, uh, stand-in uh zorro um and, you know stand in x-men obviously the original had nothing like that uh but i thought it would be a little bit more fun sort of a cartoon all-stars like what if they got to meet different heroes through time and uh so yeah that that would be more unique to this one and in the original it all took place in the future they go they don't actually travel through time they travel through dimensions so I, I kind of altered that because I was like, well, let's see if, let's see if I can, it was, it was easier to, it was more rewarding to work with time travel than just dimensions. Cause you go to dimensions, it doesn't really mean anything, but if you go to different times, then that can, you know, relate to something that happens later in a book. So uh, I'm trying to think what the other differences were. Uh the, the whole robust backstory was never in the original. Um, originally, Heels was a hooker in the 90s. And that's, and that's this is no joke. Sense. I forgot about this. Her pimp was El Pimpo Maximo. That was his oh name. Oh, God. That that's where so it comes good. from. And so <laughs> she was getting smacked around. And so Boots goes back and saves her. And because she had a heart of gold or whatever idiotic, you know writing thought i had so yeah her 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 pimp was el pimpo and um yeah you know i I got rid of all that so what a shame (laughs) you should do an el pimpo maximo trading card that would be cool well like a like a poster like the poster or like a drawing didn't i just a drawing of el pimpo that'd be cool do people want that? It is. It is. It has become legend at this point because not everyone saw that episode, but enough have that they're like, "Oh my god!" 
maybe Don won the Pokemon. Uh yeah, maybe. Maybe a, a collection, you know, the three Ps. Mm. Yeah. Don Juan to Pokemon, Pimpo, and Platooth. Triptych uh, movie card <laughs> set. And a popsicle. And a popsicle. <laughs> comes with a popsicle. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, Steven says, definitely not Platooth. What's wrong with Platooth? I'm sorry you guys don't understand or appreciate you know, fine cinema, but that's you know, that says more of you than me. Yeah, cinema makes you question your own life sometimes. <laughs> mm. That's true. <laughs> Whether or not you still want to live on this planet, good cinema will do that. See, Mike gets it. Hmm. We got Nate Callis in the house. He says draw streams are a masterclass CG style. Thank you. If you guys were Superman, do you think you'd be a good Superman? No. Mm. No, no. There'd be a lot of rape, be, you know. I would... <laughs> <laughs> That's not where I was going, but sure. Uh, well, why else would you be Superman? <laughs> <laughs> no one can stop you. <laughs> you can think of a better reason in, to be Superman. In I'd Minecraft. Like in Minecraft. <laughs> Jesus. I love how he does this on your channel, Mike. Not his I channel. know. He did that. He did that before when we were talking about like if you were invisible, he'd just be like, you'd just be going around raping everyone. And I'm like, is that all that's stopping you from raping now? <laughs> That people can see you? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I don't want to get in trouble for it, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry I just say what everyone's thinking, right? Hmm. What, what about you, Mike? I would I mean... be a great I would be a great Superman. I would be uh, very magnanimous. Giving. Eh, that's what everyone says. I, I could I could see myself just finding someone I don't like and just flying them into the sun. That's what I could see. <laughs> At least you're honest about it. You know? Yeah. Would you rape them before you threw them into the sun, then? No, Carol. I mean, that's way well, too no, far. They, you can't tell it. <laughs> they can't tell <laughs> anyone about it. So. What happens in space stays in space. <laughs> In space, no one can hear you scream. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh yeah. shit! I have to start uh, second guessing my visit to Camel's house. I don't know. What I'm gonna <laughs> do. Sumo says, "What's the name of the army guy?" That's uh, Sergeant Murica. M U R I K A. Murica. Oh, Jay Ryan says, in space, no one can hear you cream. That's true, too. Mm. But they can see it, you know. Your splooge just freezes instantly. <laughs> it's <is> locked. <laughs> I think out of the three of us, if the, the biggest concern or scary person to be Superman would be definitely be Camel, because he is just... He is one one interaction away from just destroying everyone. <laughs> well, th imagine if I had all the power in the world, how much nicer people would be to me. I know. <laughs> you know? So maybe it's a good thing. People would all mind their manners, you know, mind their P's and Q's. They're like, oh shit, Camel's angry. Let's, you know what? Let's. So you'd be, you'd essentially be, be Kim, Kim Jong un. That's sort of like your role model of power. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what he's Korean, going for. North Korean dictator. You say this like it's a problem. It's like, you know, most kids, they get, they get given, a, you know, they inherit, I don't know, if they inherit something from their parents, it's like a family business. Maybe they get a nice car or something. He got a country. 
to rule over with absolute power. Yeah. Mm, lucky. Lucky bastard. Where's my country? You're Florida. I'm a camel. You have the ivory country. tower. Yeah, I guess. You could take over that gated community you're in. I'm sure you're the youngest person there. You could rule that. <laughs> <laughs> with your like iron 30 years <laughs> iron golf <club. laughs> did you did you this is one thing that i've all, i was always interested in is like the whole fraternity thing in college did you were you a part of one camel is it good? no my my friends were and, you know, when I'd visit them, because I would visit a lot of my friends in college, you know, I was always, like, inducted as some honorary member because they were like, this guy's hilarious. <laughs> but I, I, you know, I was like, I'm not doing the pledge shit. Like, I'm not going to, like, you know, sit in a room with a strobe light and, uh, you know, identify 14,000 fruity pebbles and put them in different bowls or some bullshit like that. So That's what they make you do? I thought you oh, yeah. made you it's suck each other's dicks or something. No, yeah. well, I never got that far. You know? <laughs> that's why Mike that's joined. A top, that's a top tier. <laughs> that's why Mike joined. <laughs> when, I, when I found out there was no dick sucking, I was like, you know what? Pledge week's not Out of here. What the fuck? Yeah. What's the point? Yeah, because we don't have that here at all. And I always wonder, it always looks so cool on, you know, in movies and TV, but is it actually cool or is it just Hollywood? You know, yeah, our universities only really the international students will stay on campus, and so it's just like it's not really a dorm, it's more an apartment just full of Chinese kids. So, right, it's not at all like how it's portrayed in America. In Germany, though, I stayed in a what, what's called a Wohnheim. <laughs> Which was a essentially Sex the same dungeon. thing. No, it was a uh, it was a a building just full of international students. It was fun. I, I, see I met Mel. A potential error on this this chick. What? If you want to oh, yeah? zoom in, zoom into what? Uh, yeah. Do you see that that line on her stomach? Does that go over the breastplate? Yeah. Should that be there? Do you want to erase it? No, you can erase it. I'm not touching the line art. Not the whole um, line, just the part that goes on. No, but if I erase it now, Camel's gonna Camel's gonna send me new line art and then I'll have to erase it again. No, I can erase it on my end, but then I'll just make sure that, I, you know, it's erased on, and then you won't have to do whatever, you know, because the new line art will be better. Yeah. I'll Actually, I think on the new line art, I'm going to add three characters. Is that okay? This sounds as good as your idea where you were like, I'm going to charge $250 for a single comic. <laughs> I'm going to stuff them in there. Did we? My, uh, Rob, have you heard my idea about how to sell this? No, I'm I'm all ears. Tell me. So you know it's four it's four covers. So I piecemeal it, and I do the first cover for twenty five, the second cover for twenty five, mm. the third cover for twenty five, mm -hmm. but the fourth cover is two hundred fifty dollars. Genius, right? See, you get it. Yeah. This way, yeah. if you want to complete it, it costs yeah. you a total of uh, what is that three hundred twenty five dollars. Yeah, it's like it's like that. Um, you know, how, like when you're a kid, you used to collect those magazines from the newsagent. Now, like every month, you get a piece of a ship, and then the next month, you get mm -hmm. the next piece. Yeah, and you put them all it's together. Exactly that. And then the final one was like five times the price of all the other magazines. <laughs> See, but you, you you're it. already committed. You're already fucked. What the do you? First do? one right. is like a buck. The <laughs> last one's two hundred or something. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a great idea. People, you know, they're not the visionary marketers that I am. That's the problem. No. Chat, what do you think? Does that sound like a... 
with did you pay that? <laughs> Come on, chat. <laughs> be honest now. Don't be stingy. <laughs> what are you gonna do with those rocks, Mike? Right now? Nothing. In general. Um Oh, here's a question for you, Mike. Does it does it change or the way you're going to have to color potentially the rocks because Camel has just used an absolutely an absolutely ridiculous amount of purple everywhere? I didn't use purple. purple. He used a purple. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, the only purple is is on him and on her. Uh -huh. Like the color of these rocks is up for. Uh... That's just, yeah. you know, I just put just that in there. Fill in. And and Boom Operator is really more of a blue. Yeah. Right. Well, he's more blue there. I mean, you can see that there's a difference. And if it needs to be accentuated uh, later on, it will be. Micra says Roquefort could probably charge 250 and I'd probably do it. Yep. That's fair. What about Jim Lee? What about budget ripoff, Jim Lee? <laughs> what about Jim Camel? Camel Lee. What's Camel done so far? Looks like he's got a few different layers there. Yeah, I, sometimes I do layers so that I can get the lines where I want it to go without worrying about, hmm. you know, moving into lines I have that are set. So now it's like, all right, that, that layer is done. I like that. And then I'll just merge that with this. And now the fist is done. Is this like a King Kong cover? Uh, it's not a cover, but uh, yes. What is it? Trident card? Is it paid from the book? I'm, what is it? I'm not saying. Uh, mm, mm. Yes, it's a trading card. It's a poster. Looks like she's got fisted there. Uh huh. <laughs> Dead joke. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, how's your father says, when are we getting a trans sister action figure? That's a good question. That is a good question. Uh, I don't know, actually. 200k stretch goal. <laughs> I was thinking at uh, 30k, mm -hmm. I'll release Pimpo. You know, just, just, I'll just cut it out of that stream and just upload it. You know, Pimpo's harmless. Mm -hmm. Platooth is career ending. <laughs> Platooth dies with me, goes to the grave. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's going to happen. Like it would yeah. be, you know, my uh, leading in the polls to be the president of the United States. Yeah. So be like, uh, yeah, we've, found, we've found it. <laughs> Mr. Doctor. Vice President, we found his platoon video. <laughs> we found the last cop. <laughs> Burn it. <laughs> mm. uh. It's going to be the October surprise. <laughs> now, you know what we'll do? We'll release it ourselves. This way we can get ahead of it. A little bit. Look, it was a different time back then. You know, you can make uh, career ending movies. <laughs> <laughs> with impunity <laughs> I was watching this clip with Tarantino and he was he was saying that 70s movies uh, you just shit on 80s movies they're just so much better and then he said well, how do 80s movies compare to modern day movies and he said they're masterpieces that's how bad modern cinema is what do you think of that yeah pretty much 
Home. What seventies movies are awesome? Like, what's he, what's he referring to? Jody Harry. Uh, there's a lot of major films that came out in the seventies, like uh, Taxi Driver, Mean Streets. Um, oh right, yeah, like real, like yeah, like Halloween. Like, yeah, movies. like uh, the, the French Exorcist. Connection, The Godfather. I mean, there's a ton of movies that came out in the seventies. Alien yeah. came out in the seventies. Fair that. enough, then. Okay. Star Wars seventy-seven. Yep. Apocalypse Now. Jaws. I don't love Apocalypse Now. I like the Redux. Have you ever seen the Redux? Yeah, I've seen both. I don't know. I'm just like, people rave about it. I, tr I try. I'm just like, I don't know. Maybe I just don't get it. Maybe I'm dumb. Same with Citizen Kane. I'm like, well, Citizen Kane is a pretty old movie. Yeah, it's, is it is it, it's it, you guys just like cinephiles and there's you, you guys love something that I'm missing. I don't know. Uh, I've never met a cinephile who was in love with Citizen Kane. I've I've met guys who appreciate it and understand it and can tell you what every shot means, but you know mm -hmm. they're not watching that or referring to that when they're talking about some great tour de force film. Mm. And I've loved some old movies. I love the Third Man, um, Gone with the Wind. See, uh, I don't like the Third Man. I've things. seen it. I, I, I don't like it at all. Actually, no, I do. Third Man. What is that one? It's a, awesome uh, yeah. It's something about like hospitals, like hurting, like rushing. I don't know. I can't remember. It's like they're rushing medicine or they're like lying about trials and and then there's like it's like a noir story wrapped around it or something. I I, I saw it once. Yeah, I don't I don't remember at all. I'll take at the end is like on some Ferris wheel or something. What about Manhattan melodrama? <laughs> oh, that's a film, let me tell you. Uh I also don't like the audio in Third Man. It's 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 all very boomy because it was just old. You know, like just the style was old the way they used to record. So it's kind of hard to listen to. Chuck Raiden says, Bancroft, I don't love Apocalypse Now. It insists upon itself. <laughs> I say that all the time when someone says I didn't like that. Well, I'll tell you it. what movie insists upon itself. T two. What a disaster! You're gonna die on that hill, and no one's gonna be up there with you. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna die very alone. <laughs> what a trap! Who's though? with me? Come on! <laughs> it's overrated. Let's go. Let's go. He turns around. Hi. Cricket. So Shut do up. you like? Do you like Alien or Aliens better? Oh, Alien. Yeah. yeah. I like. A, see, yeah, that's actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good they're, comparison because I like them very both. Different movies. Yeah, they're very different movies, just like T, you know, Terminator was from T two. It's almost it's it's almost a a um, analogy like that came first and then they did that with Terminator. It is kind of funny because they got they got two good movies out of that franchise. It was both one and two, and the rest from there were pretty questionable. Well, you don't like Terminator Genesis? I didn't hate that, and I didn't hate Dark Fate, and I know everyone does. But no, I actually okay. I have no problem with Dark Fate. It's a little wokey at points, but I'm I mean, surprised you guys remember like... the names. I didn't know what you're talking about. Well, when I think of Dark Fate, I think of Deep Fake because they have like that that John Connor Deep Fake in the beginning of the movie. I think all of all of the movies are enjoyable for some. Is that the one part. where they kill John Connor at the very beginning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't watch negating that. all of like, the other movies. Fuck that! Like that's just ridiculous. Oh. 
How many people are here? 41. Uh, 40? Okay. Apparently, Kanye was on. Camel's like, I don't get out of bed for less than 100. <laughs> Why do you think I'm on this channel, Bancroft? Lift your game. Yeah, Kanye went on to, to Tim Pool. I think he lasted 10 minutes. He walked, got up and walked off. Did you see it, Mike? I, I have it pulled Dad, for Friday. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't understand what was going on. So um, they were talking about how the Jews run everything. And Tim was like, but they don't. Well, and, essentially, Tim was actually being empathetic. And he's like, I agree that you're they're attacking you. And Kanye said, who's they? And he was like, well, the media. And he, Kanye was pissed he didn't say the Jews. And he literally just got up and walked out. Is that and what happened? Milo yeah, was they like, didn't understand the context. Yeah. Because I mean, everyone's, it's, it's saying, everyone's saying this it's, is a massive L for Tim. And I'm like, no, I, I don't, don't know. Maybe so I just I needed to watch more. But Isn't it, it looked like he was wing just for like, him? I don't know. I think it looks a lot worse for Kanye. I think, yeah, I think it, it, to me, and I just saw that clip, it looked like Kanye was just like, well, I don't want to have, the, I don't want to talk to someone who doesn't 100% agree with me on the JQ. And I'm like, well, you're like, not going to find many people. Yeah. yeah, just have it like, just disagree. Like, why go on Tim, po Tim Paul's podcast if you're going to get up and walk away at the first at the first moment of disagreement, which which also is bizarre, because you know he went on Lex Friedman and he sat yeah, there like for two hours. Yeah, maybe he was just fed up of people not agreeing with him. And and Lex pushed back on him too, pretty hard. A lot, on some points. a lot yeah. more than than Tim did. Yeah, uh, you get super chat, Mike from Travis. Mister Moon, will there be a second chance campaign for Hail Salad? Uh most likely, I'll do something. Uh, you know, I'm going to put the Blu-ray out next year. Um, I don't know exactly when because I'm working on uh, Pedro wants to do something for that as well. So I have to give him time to finish what he wants to do for it. And then, um, you know, I'm going to put that out. I'll probably do a second chance of the comic. And uh, I would love to put issue two out in the same campaign. I just don't think I'll have the time to draw it. So. But we'll see, because uh, again, a lot of boots and heels is done. So maybe, maybe I will. Uh, but definitely, something hail salad will come out next year. I just don't know what quite yet. But if you're asking, because uh, you see the second chance in the in the back end of the checkout of boots and heels, you'll get that first. So if you're like, oh, if I want that version, then pick it up now because uh, I don't know when the, the other one will come out. Oh, Simply Green, StarCraft player. Good to see you, dude. Okay, I, I've, got a, I've got a bit of a quiz for you guys. Can you guess what the top rated movie of the decade 2010 to 2020 is? Top Have rated? Top rated what IMDb. Top... That's what I'm going off. Rated? I am rated, yep. What is, is an IMDb like, rating? What is that? Isn't it isn't it a mixture of um, critique critics and people? I thought it was always just people on Indigo or not Indigo on on IMDb who who rated it themselves. Well, e either way, whatever it is, uh, I I've got no uh, idea. End game? No idea. No. No, 2010. Can you give us a hint? Uh, yeah. it, it's a Leonardo DiCaprio movie. Is it Once Django upon a Unchained? Time? It's not Django Unchained. No. Once Upon a Time. No. Nope. In Hollywood. It can't be The Revenant. That was terrible. Yeah, it has um, Joseph Gordon Levitt in it as well. Inception. Oh, Wolf of Wall Street. Inception. Oh, Inception. Inception? Yeah, top rated it was, movie. It was all right. Yeah. That's, I that's much a... preferred I much preferred Shutter Island than Inception. Yeah, you know what the problem with Inception is it just rains too much. It's always raining. 
Yeah, I mean, that's the first thing I thought about when I was thinking of what I can critique about Inception. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, you know what I think about, you know, you know what I think about, you know what I think about Inception? I think it insists upon itself. <laughs> it literally it does. does. It totally it does. does. It's also it like, it, it just very much in that. <laughs> In that vein, because it's like it contradicts itself all the time. It has rules that are lofty and don't really make sense. You're know, like, whatever. I don't fucking care anymore. Are you in a reality? Are you not in reality? Whatever. Spin the dreidel. Go away. All right. So here's the top five, right? From 2010 to 2020. Inception, Interstellar, Whiplash, Django Unchained, and The Dark Knight Rises. What's whiplash? That's the drum one where he like teaches a kid how to play drums or something. Oh yeah. With JK Simmons. I was gonna mm -hmm. say rolling, but yeah. <laughs> I don't think she was in a movie. <laughs> Compared to the eighties, you've got Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, Back to the Future, Cinema Paradiso, Indiana Jones, and The Shining. I mean, none of these are my favorite films. The 80s ones? Uh, so I like Star Wars, obviously, in the 80s. Um, but, you know, even even in the, the, night, the 2010 ones either. I guess I'm just, you know. Marby Dog says, Carl must have a, a camel. Ca camel. Camel must have a... <laughs> Who's Carl? Uh, Campbell said <laughs> a head injury if he hates the rev. Oh, I couldn't stand the revenant. That was terrible. I never saw it. It looked depressing. You know it what it looked... does? It insists upon itself. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it totally it looks does. Like a three hour movie of a guy fighting a bear. I don't know. That's it, it's pretty it. much what it is. It's the uh, bear fight's brutal as well. Like it is I'm not it's a messed up bear fight. I don't, yeah, it's just, a, it's just a humans were not evolved to to fight bears that's not that's not our thing so yeah. you know what the other problem with that movie is it's always snowing you know every shot is more snow if it's not snow it's rain <laughs> camel has a precip camel has a precipitation sunny issue. camel only likes it sunny outside though yeah <laughs> my advice all the time that's what i want to say <laughs> I have to play this now. Right. It's too good. Yeah, well, it would have been if you played it straight away. But since we're all going to die, there's one more secret I feel I have to share with you. I did not care for the Godfather. What? Did not care for the Godfather. How can you even say that, Dad? Didn't like, didn't like it. It's, it's like the perfect movie. I, this is whatever. <laughs> you know, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino. I, I mean, never see Robert Duvall. I know. I no, fine, fine actor. Did not like the movie. Why not? Did not. Couldn't get into it. Explain yourself. What didn't it, you like? The movie? It insists upon itself. <laughs> what? It insists upon itself. What does that even mean? Because it has a valid point to make. It's insisting. It takes forever getting in. You know, you spend, you know, you spend like six and a half hours, and then. You know, I can't even get through. I can't even finish a movie. I've never even seen the You've ending. You've never seen the ending? Well, how can you say you don't like it if you haven't even given it a chance? I but... agree with Joey. It's not really fair. That, I have tried on three separate occasions to get through it, and I, I get to the scene where all the guys are sitting around on the easy chairs. Yeah, it's and a all... great scene. I love that, that scene. It's noted great. in every annual. I have no idea what they're talking about. It's like they're speaking a different language. That's where I lose interest and you I go away. They're speaking I'm... Italian. The language they're speaking is a language of subtlety, something you don't understand. I love the money pit. That is my answer to that statement. Exactly. Well, there you go. Whatever. I like that movie, too. <laughs> that might be the single greatest exchange of four characters <laughs> ever put to television. Ever. It's so fluid and perfect and hilarious in every way. I love it. The Money Pit was fun. You're right. It was a good, he was making a good point. 
<laughs> that was the, that's the funniest part about the whole thing. Even though I disagree with his take. Fallout Zone says, this is basically my mum when she talks about not liking Goodfellas. How do you not like Goodfellas? I just don't understand. You know what I think is overrated? Oh, here we go. The Sopranos. Wow. Yes. No. Too much talking. Too much talking. You're an idiot. I don't. It's not my favorite. (laughs) I don't love it like everyone else loves it. Shit ending. I've watched it. I don't think the ending was shit. Um, but I don't. I I didn't connect with it like other people have. I much prefer Breaking Bad. Oh yeah. Um, Come on. A lot of other TV shows actually. I even prefer like trashy TV shows that no like one Gossip likes. Girl. No, like the One Hundred. <laughs> the Gossip yeah. Girl. <laughs> more than i like the sopranos Game. boardwalk empire was great anonymity for a while Game. the wire was overrated says marby doc i don't know i don't think i've even seen the wire everyone says i have to see it but um, it, it looks it looks um it looks intense I when I sit down know. at the end, when I sit down at the end of the day to relax with the with the with the lady, I don't want to be sitting there thinking. Like, I get you. I hear you. No, you know, I'll think a little bit, but I don't want to be. I don't want to. Oh look, I'm sitting here to relax. The kids are in bed. Now it's yeah. time to go on this friggin' just. Like, whether it's anxiety, like I couldn't watch twenty. What well, not twenty four. Uh, that what's that one where they're breaking up prison break this is this is too much i'm like jesus it's too much anxiety just let me relax watch something where i can turn my brain off for a little bit and just enjoy yeah i mean pri- prison break like is one of those shows that you have to be a genius to follow like clearly you know <laughs> wow <laughs> Fucking hell. no it's not no no that's not the thinking part it's like oh jesus. every single episode it's like you unlock a puzzle what? and there's another puzzle waiting in there to punch you in the face. And you're like, fucking hell. <laughs> can I just can I just catch a break? For God's sake. You know? Does everything in life have to be a struggle? That's what I that's what I don't want that from a TV show. I don't want like every like every door you open is someone kicking you in the balls. No. It's like I've I tried to watch that show Dark like a few times, yeah. but it's in a different language and you have to follow it intently. And I just can't be bothered. No, for me, it wasn't that. It's in German, Rob, by the way. What did I it say? It wasn't Dutch? that about Dark. It's, um, it's again, it's another one of those movies. It's so, it's TV shows, it's so heavy. Yeah. Like, I just want to relax. Just let me relax. Nate says Aqua Teen Hunger Force is also fun. Hmm. What yes. is that? Jay yeah. Ryan is liking Peripheral. Peripheral is actually good because it's it. like there's action, there's mystery, there's you know there are stakes. People are dying left, right, and center. But at the same well, time, the characters it's... don't suck balls too. That helps. Yeah, it's it's like it's not. I'm not on the edge of my seat worried that someone's going to die or like something's about to jump out and freaking scare the shit out of me. It's right in the middle. That's why I enjoy it. What's your favorite genre of movies, guys? Mike Camel. Probably sci fi for a movie. Oh, I don't know. I just never really thought about it. Maybe superheroes. You call yourself a movie critic buff and your favorite movie genre is superhero movies. Just throwing that out there. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not fighting it either way. <laughs> you know. 
I think, mm -hmm. well, the problem is, is that like, you know, when they're done right they're I think they can be great, but a lot of times they are not done right. And I do watch, if I like a superhero movie, I will watch it so much more than most other movies. That is yeah, true. That's, yeah. Like I've gone back to Thor Ragnarok or the first Doctor Strange or, uh, you know, Love and Thunder. Winter Soldier. No, not <laughs> not in, Winter Soldier is the best one, in my opinion. I think it's the best out of all of them. Not for me, but it is. I, I rate it very highly. The first You're Iron not. Man. Like, I go back to them because I'm like, I, I have fun every time I do. Um, whereas I don't really do that with many other movies. I I like rom-coms. I know a lot of guys don't, but <sighs> I do if they're good. They're another movie where I can kind of watch. Like if Mel wants to watch a movie and like she'll put on a good one. Yeah. I'm down. What's a good what's a good rom com, Mike? You know, if you if you're trying to get someone who has Notting Hill, that's hilarious. No interest in it. I like Notting I like the cool. one with uh Matthew McConaughey and they're looking for gold. Uh Fool's Gold? Fool's Gold. Yeah, I thought I thought that was pretty good. It reminded me of like if they made an uncharted movie. That was better than the crappy Uncharted movie. You know, I was watching, I was listening to a thing about Matthew McConaughey and he said um, that he was, all he was getting were rom-com roles. And uh, he had to actually leave Hollywood for like two years until it got to the point where nostalgia kicked in and agents actually were like, oh, you know, you know who we should get? Like, Matthew McConaughey, whatever happened to that guy? And that's how he ended up doing Interstellar and um, that other one he you know won awards for and shit like that. Yeah, it must be pretty hard. Like for a movie star, like you get pigeonholed into a type of movie, and it, it must be really hard to get out of doing that. Well, if you if you want to get out, if you want to just make bank like Hugh Grant did for fifteen years, get rich. It's not a bad gig if you can get it, but there are a lot of there are a lot of good like I I even like the classic rom coms. I mean, a lot of them are terrible, but some of them are fun. Some of them are more like adventures. Um, I liked Hitch. Hitch was good. Hitch was that fun. Uh, Jarro says action, sci fi, Total Recall, Aliens, Demolition Man, Robocop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love them. I love. Even uh, kind of like I love all I love pretty much any I'll watch any sci-fi. That's kind of like my, my go-to movie to watch. Even if it's not very good, I'll watch it and I'll enjoy it. We just watched that that movie with Tom Cruise where he's like he's flying some weird ship. Oblivion. I don't know what it was called. Top Oblivion. Gun. Oh, that's a good movie. <laughs> no, not that one. Tom Cruise. I still haven't, makes pr I still haven't pretty seen good movies. Man. He does. He's pretty good movies. I'm a fan of Tom Cruise's movies. Uh, Fallout Zone says, were y'all ever into Westerns? I like Not the really. good ones. I, I, li I like the good ones, but no, I wouldn't say I've, I know Westerns. I mean, you know, I know Unforgiven and... Um, Winchester 76. What is it? Like Shane and... Uh, and the Good, the Bad and the Ugly and that sort of stuff but no you get travis pa parrick for two mike oh travis parrick for two moon are you a fan of don simpson's megaton man never heard of it never heard of it i know don simpson i mean not personally but i know of him but... i also love war I'll watch pretty much anything war, especially World War II. I will War II. not watch war movies. Oh, bro. It's really weird. You, you, you're you missing out. They're some of the best. Like, actually, they're, actually, there's a new Band of Brothers series coming out called... I haven't um, seen it. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it's Band new. of Brothers. I haven't seen it. What's um, wrong with you, Rob? I don't like war movies. I don't know why. I think it's because my grandfather was in the war and it's something to do with that. All of our but grandfathers I were in the war, Rob. 
I don't my know grandfather why. was in the war too, bro. were in the war. <laughs> I don't know why. I just don't. That's why it was called a world war. <laughs> 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 they were all there. I don't know. And I don't you know were there. Why. And you were there. <clears throat> Band of Brothers is one of the greatest miniseries. Probably is the greatest miniseries ever made. Yeah. And I don't know if I'll ever be topped. And you're just sitting there saying, man, I want to watch it. Hey, you know what I don't like about that show? It's always what? snowing or raining. <laughs> Every episode. I'm like, get an umbrella for sand? God's sakes. There's Stay sand. Inside. There's no sand. It's, <laughs> no it's sand. the uh, it's the European front. Not, oh, but anyway, it's, yeah, anyway, it's there's in Europe. It's always raining. Anyway, there's a there's a new um there's a new one about uh the bombers. So there'll be pilots. It's coming out next Ooh, year. I cannot what, wait. What bombers? What bombers were? Do you know what they are? My grandfather flew a bomber. Oh, what Lang- what? Pl- uh, it, they, yeah, I, 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 I'm not I'm not too familiar, but possibly. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a no. They're, they're, it's the Americans, so oh yeah, it's yeah. not the British. Um, it's crazy, man. The statistics of like the Lancaster bomber coming back from you know a bombing run mm, is like I'm guessing that yeah seven or eleven percent of them made it back. It's absolutely insane. Uh, Nate Callis points out the Pacific was great too. Yeah. Uh, Freaking! I'm so excited for that. Uh, what if what if they are. woke it up, Mike? Though, what if they just you know, what if they put a female in there and she's she's like the lead? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah, the new cat would Winters highly is a doubt chick. it. Save in private, Jenny. <laughs> B17s, yeah. I just you... watched the Band of Brothers documentary again on YouTube just the other day. Can't get enough of it. And that's just the dudes, the actual guys, like, sitting around talking about it. Oh, I think they're God. all dead now. Just go to the old folks' home. <laughs> I would if they were there. I would. Hey, guys, how you doing? <laughs> I mean, Camel, they all might be living in your estate. Hearing about dude. Joe Toy and, uh, 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 you know, Major Winters and... Um, uh, Compton and uh, Wild Bill. Is his name Wild Bill? Bill. I don't know. Uh, I haven't seen it twenty nine times, like you have. <laughs> I haven't seen it one time. I saw it one and a half oh. times. I saw it when it came out, and then I tried watching it with my wife. We got halfway through, and I was like, "Yeah, this, she was kind of bored." By it. I was a little bored. I by think it I've too, seen so. it about like through. All in all, probably about 10 times. Yeah, Ugh. we got we had like three or four episodes left. The episode we ended on is the one, you know, when they're in the snow <laughs> and it's snowing all day. Dude, what is wrong <laughs> with you? A stone. Yeah, that that I mean, no, I'm not, I'm not being that's, that's not a joke. It's literally it's snowing and it's just them running around and just getting their ass handed to them. And I was did like, something happen to you at your wedding with like confetti or something or rice like hitting you in the eyes and it's caused some sort of trauma? That you've associated with snow. That's what's happening. Not happened. everything has to be for a reason, Rob. This could just be. He's just weird for choice. no reason. Okay. Right. Uh, Sumo says Saving Private Ryan's not bad. I love Saving Private Ryan again as well. At you know, the end, where he's what? like, I hope. Don't tell me, Rob. He's like, I, I haven't hope, seen it. I, I hope. I. What does he say? I hope I ended up deserving it or something like that, or earned it. I hope I earned it. I can't remember the exact quote, but that's a powerful moment right there. Have you seen Schindler's List, Rob? Which one's that? (laughs) That was the (laughs) 97 feel good comedy of the year. You don't remember that? I can't. Which one is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Hang on. Suma says, that's not what I wrote. Did I not read it right? Saving Pri- 
Oh, so <laughs> he wrote saving Ryan's privates is not bad. Oh, yeah, okay. It's funny, like you just see the words and you don't even read them. You just your brain just says, Hey, it says saving private Ryan. <sighs> Rob. It's so weird. Like you love action and, and violence and blood and violence and, and heroics yeah. and stakes but you don't you don't like war movies it's so it's strange it's it's weird it's kind of like when you take a stance on something so stupid like snow outside and you just won't back down from that stance you know you, that's you've planted your feet you've climbed to the top of t2 sucks mountain and you can't you just can't back down anymore I don't think T2 sucks. It's just not for me. You know, um, the problem is, is that John Connor is just a whiny bitch. Yeah, if you if can't get whiny. past John Connor being annoying, you're not going to have a fun time because it's, he it's is 100% And then annoying. when they introduce Sarah, she's a bitch too. And I'm like, oh God, there's just two fucking, yeah, annoying I thought bitches. that was great though. Like that, I loved from where she was at the end of Terminator to what you see in T2, I think that was like, you didn't need to see what happened in the interim. It was such a, it was oh, like an no, amazing that, character arc. I like when she's in the asylum. That's all fine. Yeah. But like yeah. when they break her out and like she's quarreling with John over like saving Arnold, I was like, oh God, just stop. It's just, I don't know. I just, she's always like, you're the chosen one. You got to be careful. And she's like looking in his mouth and shit. And I'm like, just it's ridiculous. Jay Ryan says Schindler's List, where a guy named Schindler goes on a bunch of dates to find his one true love. Doesn't sound very good. Yeah, Rob, just watch it. It's fine. Um, Nate Callis says Platoon is one of the best war movies ever. I think he meant Platooth. Mm, I think he did too. <laughs> Platoon. Yeah, you know, the thing about Platooth is it never rains in that movie. <laughs> so <laughs> instant, instant only blood. blood. Yeah. It 25 blood. time Academy Award winner. <laughs> it, it, it rains babies' heads. Mm. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. What about war docos, Rob? Watchable. Yeah, I don't really watch them though. The uh Civil War, the one with I can't remember who's narrating it. Um, is amazing. It's very you know long, but it's it's amazing. Do you know what's a great um, war documentary? Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. I I, I love Lincoln. <laughs> I love Lincoln with Daniel Davis. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> I love it how people start streaming together and they gradually just get to know each other so well where <laughs> you can like just hang out like your actual friends and oh just my God. give real shit to each other. <laughs> Oh, it's like God. you know, like you, you you go back and you watch people when they first start streaming together, and they're very like you know Stiff. standoffish, and yeah. and then eventually you get to the point where one guy's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Did you like Tropic Thunder, Rob? Is that too much? That, yeah, movie? that's a great movie. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. a little movie. <laughs> a great movie. Camel just reminded me of it with the uh, simple Jack uh, <laughs> impersonation. <laughs> Jaro says Rob deserves every second of that mockery. Mm -hmm. So, Mike, when are you going to start work on these? I've been working on it the whole time. Have you, though? You're like Clayton negging Corey as he works. Yeah. And I'm like, Corey, say, like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. I've been I've been doing all this stuff.
Look at everything I've done. Hold on a sec. Let me save it. I don't know. Where where it's do not... we go from there? You know, from that conversation, where do we go from there? Let's refresh. Person I'll tell you, else. never go yeah, full retard. Yeah, yeah, that's true too. You know, the uh, I, I looked, I wanted to drop a you never go full retard gift the other day on Twitter. And <laughs> they're there, but they don't say retard. They say something else, like whatever it is, but it, not, not retard. Dude. Don't go full down syndrome. No, you know, nothing like that. It's like you never go full. I don't know. It could be anything. Oh, uh, yeah. Friggin... Mike, do you remember? You would have been 18, 20, 20, 20 early 20s. And Black Eyed Peas came out with the song, Let's Get Retarded. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. And yeah. that was, it was a sick track. Everyone loved it. Lots of fun. And then they went and changed it to Let's Get It Started. These people are destroying everything. Oh, is that what happened? I only know the other one. I prefer um I prefer the other one where they're like uh party every day pa, 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 pa. you know that one? What's mm-hmm. that song called? Party every that day. One a lot. Yeah. No, it's called something else. All right. This is where I started tonight. Hang on, let me turn them back on because that's not fair. I'll turn the highlights back on. Right. See, I've done I've done the shadows of three characters. Wait, turn it on and off. Okay. I, was, I mean, it's just these three, so I'll zoom in a bit. Uh, that's where I started. That's how I'm up to so far. Getting there. Yeah, that's Very not good. bad for stream. For stream <laughs> action. I don't love Black Eyed Peas. I liked them back in the day. Oh, they're like, they're one of those groups that have, you know, five songs that you can put on when you're at a party. Mm. So, uh, as far as that sort of music used to go, I used to listen to The Roots. I used to listen to... Uh oh god. I can't remember their names anymore. Hilltop I've been Woods. listening Hilt- <laughs> I haven't listened to Hilltop Woods in a while. I've been listening to Dr. Dre lately. I find mm. it I find like hip hop music from the uh nineties is really good to draw to. It just gets you in a, like it gets you in a good um uh, you know it's sort of it's not too energetic, but it's uh I find like I can go a long time. I can draw a long time without a break when I listen to hip hop. That's what I find. Good music too. I don't it listen just... to anything post like really like you hit the two thousands and I'm out. Mate, there's some really good modern rap these days. Yeah, you say that. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. I'll Again, send you some you that you that. won't listen to. I will not. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean you'll send it to me? What, in the mail? Just yeah, give like me, tell me what it is and I'll, I'll listen to it on Shopify. No, okay. Spotify. I'll, I'll send you a link. <laughs> no, I like Shopify. That's where I listen to my music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you see my um, Shopify thing that I set up, Rob? No. Is it good? Do you sell anything yet? No, I mean, it's not live. Oh, I just well. started setting it up. Do you want to see it? Yeah, sure. Pull it up. Uh, I've got to go find it now. Man, this is this is other band called Major Laser, and they released a song. It's, it oh, goes, yeah. blow, blow a kiss, fire a gun. Right, that was a, that was the the hook line. They had to change it to blow blow a kiss into the sun because that was too offensive. What is wrong with these? Really, people? I love Major Laser. Major Laser are the one who did that um, hook on the the Beyonce song, a really good one that she took and make, made famous. The one who run the world, girls. You know that thing. And it goes. Da, 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 da. That's a major laser 
book. Oh, there you go. Good song too. And the um the <laughs> although the film clip is just the craziest crunking twerking video you'll ever see. Yeah, it's like uh, you watch the these like Nicki Minaj videos, and it's like, how do they get on YouTube? It's crazy. I know, right? How do I find my thing? Uh, What's Camel's this? type of music? Beach Boys? I wonder if Camel listens to music. It's probably like, that's too lowbrow for me. Uh, all atonal. Just sounds. Um, I like uh, <laughs> The sounds when... of Camel. <laughs> White noise, I imagine, would be your number one birth. track. <laughs> oh, you know, engines. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Pond the floor. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> that, that's me singing it. <laughs> he said right before I mentioned it. How weird. It was on the movie Sing. Sad. Fallout Zone likes red hot chili peppers. I'll listen to, I'll go through things. Or I'll listen to all sorts of things. Like, you know, I'll go back and listen to the 60s and 70s. Then I'll go on an Aussie rock kick. Right now I'm on a hip hop kick. I, I really like uh, like just singer songwriters, just people with a guitar and their voice. That's it. Nothing else. I would like that kind of music. Um, what's right. what's worse, the the movies of this decade or the music of this decade compared to you know the eighties, nineties, whenever you want to compare it to? Probably the movies, because there is good music out there. It's just you'll never hear it. it. There is good stuff, but you've got to fight. You've got to like seek it out. It's not the popular music. It's not like previous decades where the best stuff is the most popular. Um, whereas movies, I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it's, I don't think just any Joe Blow can make a, a movie that's as good as the top mainstream movies, but anyone who's a good musician can make you know the best music of the day but that's the thing um, too even like a terrible musician can make music that's popular and it's frustrating shit you hear on like radio these days is and it's like crazy yeah, pop popular. music is oh, is worse horrendous. than it's ever been um yeah well, so the- i mean i haven't I've just started this role, but you can kind of see how it might look and work. Yeah, a couple so of sick, the thing dude. There. I like it. Thank you. Um, I don't know if I'm if I can or if I will even put anything else on the campaign other than the book. Um, I've got to figure that out. So we'll see. Fallout Zone says, "Do y'all think Avatar will do good in theaters?" I, I don't know about you guys. I have pretty much as close to zero interest in going back to a movie theater as possible. Now. It's funny. We were just talking about this yesterday. This is like, this was a 20 minute discussion on yesterday's stream. Yeah. And we came to pretty much the same conclusion. Like yeah, it would have to I be something wrong. I'm just dying to see. And that just doesn't happen anymore. Well, I forgot it was coming out. And then I saw a trailer and I was like, oh, when's this like March or and it was like, no, December. I'm like, <laughs> All right. Mm. Well, good luck, I guess. There was no hype for it. It's all of a sudden it's just like, oh yeah, there it is. But then I'm I'm also hearing that every seat is sold out for the first like three or four days. So I'm like, who knows? Maybe it'll be huge. Yeah, like we might be in a bubble of people who are really cynical, but just normies who aren't on Twitter or YouTube are just yeah. Oh, yeah. cool, a new avatar. I know what avatar is. I'll go watch it. Do you know Matt Damon was offered ten percent of the like the profits from that movie if he did it, and he turned it down because he was working on Born, one of the Born movies. As who? As Sam Worthington? Yeah, I did always think Worthington was a very odd choice for such a big film. Yeah, it was weird, man. He was really popular for a good couple of years. Two or three years, well, he was so the guy. He and was. Then... They tried to make him the guy. That's the problem. He never took off because mm. no one liked him. So they put him in Avatar. They put him in uh, Terminator, uh, Wrath of Titans. 
Yeah. They put him in a couple of other, you know, a Terminator. Hmm. And it just, no one, he had no charisma. And then they were like, you know what? We tried. Is he in Planet of the Apes, the new one? Was that him? Or was that All a right. different Worthington? I don't think so. Uh, no, it was a different, I think it was just a different Australian. Yeah. They oh, you think it of uh, Jason Isaac or something? I don't know. Bloody kind of makes you wonder why it's taken so long to get the second Avatar, though. Like it was, it was huge. Well, because they filmed th two or three of them back to back, so they've been filming since like 2012. Hmm. How odd! What an odd way to do it. Well, I guess it was just cheaper, you know. So you had to rebuild the sets, get all the tech back, yeah. this and that. But it's also but, like that's, that's are the actors major. still the same, or are they like different? I think the actor's the same. Although I haven't seen Sam Worthington in, I mean, I assume he's in it, but like, you know, they could use, if the guy's just all CGI, it's not like they need him back. Let me see if he's in it. I think they do. It's his voice, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, he's in it. Jake's... Is he? Sigourney Weaver's in it too. Kate Winslet's in it. It says Stephen Lang's in it, but didn't he die in the first one? Is that the bad guy? Yeah, that was a weird casting choice too, because he always seemed too young to play the 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 character he was playing. To me, he's like, how did this guy rise to become like this big magnate? He's yeah, just it seemed odd. But maybe I like that. Maybe I'll go see it on. Uh, maybe I'll go see it Christmas. It'll give us something to do. I liked it. I um. Oh my god, he was married to Lara Bingle, Mike, Sam Worthington. Ew. Who's Lara Bingle? She's like Some she was like ugly our, chick who everyone thinks is hot. Export, yeah. One of our hot export chicks from Australia. Let's, Pamela, let's let me show you a left, right, or center. I'll, They're doing uh, four avatars, by the way. Everyone thought this one was like the hottest chick ever. I did, never saw it. I never. Dude, she just looked like Bob Stan. Was two thousand and nine. It's like twelve years. Look at her down here. Oh. Oh. God. oh. What is I this? know who she looks like. Uh, I'll find a picture. Go ahead. Compared to say another, um, who's that one who's turned out to be a very funny actress? Um, she's got a big Wilson. head, but she's very skinny. She's Aussie. Oh, I found Aussie another name. picture of her. You tell me if this is accurate. I, I have it on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the same actor, right? <sighs> that looks like Helen Hunt. No joke. Have you seen Helen Hunt recently? <laughs> no, that's a great. Like that's a great. Sixty years old. Now, was that from? Is that is that Mason from? It's it's which Gary Oldman in, in Hannibal. In Hannibal, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a great one. I I really love that movie. I love that whole series of movies. Um. Helen Hunt, did you say? Helen Hunt, look. Oh, yeah. She's got a mask face going, too. She's like... What do you mean? She just looks like a... Oh, dude. yeah, I see. I mean, yeah, she's aging. How old is no, she? No, dude, she's had work done. She looks like someone falling who's apart? cut off her face and then put it back on with, like, pins. That's what happens. Like, like This whole plastic surgery thing, it's just... It's, it's just guessing. They it's don't know guessing. what happened. <laughs> well, yeah, they, it is. They don't know how this works and how it's going to look when you age because it's they're doing it for the first time ever and we're finding out. That's true, right? I mean, because when did, when did plastic surgery become a thing? In the 80s, In 90s? The 80s. In the 80s. And like, you didn't well, see any plastic surgery on like actresses before like in the 70s like that wasn't a thing it was yeah. the 80s and and it became just everywhere in the 90s and now they're old 
and they look like Mason Verger. Um, what the hell is that movie? The funny Bride, thing about plastic Bride surgery Bride. is I don't even think it looks good when it's new. No, it doesn't. I'm just like, you look ridiculous. You look like unless it's like rhino, annoying. unless unless someone's like got a really massive nose and they somehow chop it down. Well, yeah, that job. then you could actually look pretty hot. But, but if you're doing like a, 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 a like a lift, yeah, oh yeah. Do you ever so watch that? Asian? Do you ever watch that botched show? That's 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 interesting. That show. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. Why would I watch that? It is. It's Rose Byrne is who I was talking about. Rose Byrne. Is that she the one is who a is... much. Who's Rose uh, Byrne? Prettier. Rose Byrne is um, an Australian actress who's Ow. made it pretty big in Hollywood. Um, I think there's with with plastic surgery, there's a really lot. Funny. Right, you can you can get it up to a point, but once you go over that point, it starts to make you look like disgusting. Uh, like Madonna. Oh, Madonna oh. was. Uh, Oh, Madonna. yeah, well, that's it. I mean, who went post Madonna? <laughs> now we're seeing the effects of 30 years of plastic surgery and how it like how it ages and it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't look good. It looks, it looks significantly worse than if you did nothing. Significantly. That Rose uh, Byrne character, girl, she looks like she could play Madonna in a movie. She has like kind of like the look. It's funny. It's so funny. These actors, because they're Australian, so we we know where they're from. Like we we know their first entry, like Nicole Kidman in BMX Bandits, and um, you know all these people on Neighbors and Home and Away uh rose Byrne, i always remember as this weird chick like 90s chick on um on uh two hands two hands I'll show yeah. you this yeah this is what she looked like this is how i this is how i always remember her and it's so funny now that she's like a whole like she's a proper hollywood starlet movie woman was that Heath uh, Ledger's just, first movie as well? Yeah, I always just remember her looking like this. Like, just... I went she out with a girl... Insane. I went out with a girl who looked like this. Like, she had that hair. Like, that's what they would wear. The same kind of cardigan. Was it Blossom? Weird thing. That kind of hair. Like, And even that kind of face, too. And then she became a big... um Slut. Movie... Oh, that's person. Well, we found Mike's. We found Mike's crush, Rose Byrne. Oh, you know what? She's in those X Men movies. She's Is in she? First Class. She plays uh, Moira Mattaggart. I was like, I know I've seen her in something. She married the guy from um, uh, Boardwalk kind of Empire. Alley. Yeah. Uh. He was a good bad guy. He's got a douche looking face though. That's why he was such a good bad guy. I don't think I'm going to be shading anymore. <laughs> it's like break time. You know, I, I sent you blocks. those updated colors. I know I made the background like hot pink, but I think it should be kind of hot pink. The uh, the, the sky. sky. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, I'll we'll get to that it. when I'm. Yeah. Yeah. When like I'm just saying, something that really thing. pops, I think, would be great. But you know. We'll yeah, I'm not. That. I'm not really worried about that sort of stuff. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Just yet. Yeah. It's more like getting the, getting the bits and pieces down, so I can actually, um, yeah, move forward. Yeah. Yeah. All that. All I like all that sort of stuff. I I really work. I really like do a lot of adjusting and and that kind of stuff. Um, the uh, highlights on Boots' arm looks great. Yeah, yeah, it's so funny, isn't it? It's just like a little, just a little just bit a there. Little, yeah, you know? I like the the claws on the the clawed Asian. Well, he, they're gonna really sparkle. So you'll have spick and spanny. 
<laughs> he, he's gonna be like he's gonna be like age. a twilight vampire mm. <laughs> what i'm really gonna go with camel's gonna love it um and yeah i'll do i'll do um i'll do because i don't have my soft brush on the ipad so when i go inside i'll i'll do the highlights i should be able to get all them done yeah tonight all right very good very good what's going on with you rob what have you been up to? Oh, no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> Camel is vi- why are you so what's going on? Why are you so vicious to Rob tonight, Camel? Well, I'm just playing. Well, I'm just playing. I like. You Rob think like you, you, uh, you know? You job. think I've been gone for a week? You think you'd be happy to see me? But it's like he hasn't got his insults out, so I'm getting yeah. double tonight. Well, because I, I should have got him out last night, you know, and now they've been yeah. building. I'm like, oh. This fucking guy, I swear. Yeah, but Rob was out there <laughs> being Christ. a family man. How's your father? He says, I care about you, Rob. So how's your Thanks, father? Man. Is Rob's alt account confirmed? Okay, got it. No, how's your father always does. So does Stephen Rockwood. Hmm. Um, there's actually a few. I have uh, fans. fans. Oh, yeah, he has yeah, multiple alt account. accounts. Okay. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> got it. I was once being mean to uh, Rob, and Stephen Rockwood was like, "Mike, stop, stop being mean to Rob. It's not cool. It's not fun. Yeah, it's like kicking a puppy, Camel. You don't do it. <laughs> I feed dogs to alligators, but yeah, I fucking I, I care about that. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Willfully, gleefully, <laughs> laughing all the way." <laughs> Into the moors, into the moor of death. Oh boy, I'm kidding. How are your uh, How are your signups going, Rob? Well, I haven't checked in a while, man. Let me have a look, actually. Because uh, we started the show with that video of Camel asking you how your signups going, so we can do like a check in. Five nineteen. Go well. Yeah, they're going well. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's way more than that I've got in that same period. I think. Yeah, I like, once I do a video and release some covers and release some more things, and I think it'll 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 go pretty well. Um, at the moment, it's kind of just sign up because I've told people to. There's no real, you know, yeah. massive incentive yet. Images so, or anything. Yeah, yeah. So once that all happens, it'll it'll, it'll ring. I'm not trying to blow your spot up, but have you released your uh, that nine card thing or no? No, no. Oh, okay, because that looks great. So that's, that's it, what you're it looks fucking sick. Yeah, yeah. It's it one of the best good. things I've seen on anyone's mm-hmm. campaign. So it'll go really well. It, it, it's uh, probably the best piece of art from all of Replicator so far. So I mean, yeah, it's yeah. it's uh, quite good. Yeah, it's really good. Camel, you're on your way to uh, twenty-seven thousand now. I know. Got I'm excited. 26. At at uh, thirty thousand, we're going to convert the 3d glasses so they're custom and i'm also going to release el pimpo so people can watch that at their leisure and um uh yeah so we're, we're getting there we sold 17 of these lava foils at the end of this episode i will be i will be taking that tear down so if you guys want it this is the absolute last time to get it or yeah, you can get it through the a, uh you can get it through the shoebox let's give them a five minute warning here if you want this lava foil which is this cover here with the lava foil effect which you've checked out yesterday uh it's now or never you have five minutes to back this i'll also say this it will be the only way to get this piece of art on the campaign so think about that if you want that art that's that's this is going to be the way to do it jasper comes in just as we're shilling yeah, what the hell, <laughs> we Jasper? haven't really been shilling all night, Jasper. You're just lucky. Oh, does he hate shilling? We're... Oh, as much as everyone else. I mean, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, woohoo, they're shilling again. Do you, do you love shilling? Camel? <laughs> it's my favorite no, part people, of the show. Some people love watching the shill, and I'm like, all right, that's fine, I guess. But yeah, no, I can't. Um, so, yeah. I think I yeah. think at the last second, if we can get to twenty, that would be great. I don't know if we will, but we got. Hey, I thought we. I didn't even know if we'd get to ten. So, the fact that we got seventeen is pretty awesome. I like that uh, your your uh, printer will allow you to do this, 
cool stuff. That's like that's really that's really good of them that you you know you can just do these super exclusive. Um, yeah, you know why it stuff. is? It's because I go to them with everything I have. Yeah. So you know, like because when I first went to them, I said I want to do prestige and I want to do foil, and they were like this. They gave me some astronomical number with a minimum of two fifty, and I was like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but. If uh, I said, what if I bring all my other work to you and this and that? And they said, oh, yeah, well, then that's the case. And we can figure something out. So Hyper Wizard asks, is, is it set up as an add-on? No, uh, I only it. set it up. It has add-ons on the back end, but I didn't set it up as an add-on so because I wanted to be able to monitor and publicly show people how much we sold of them. Also, because it's, 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 it's a short tier. It was only up for four days. So to go add it to everything is kind of it's kind of a miserable task. So you can still grab the Ivory Tower card. You can get the Hal Salad second print. You can get uh, all the different boots and heels stuff, Camel Knight. So you can get pretty much everything. Yeah. I, you so can't you would... get a golf cart as the add-on. You have to buy that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Unfortunately, unfortunately if, if you – do you have to pay shipping on the golf cart? Well, the shipping's for me. I mean, you don't get a golf okay, cart. Yeah. You, I buy yeah, it. So I, it's actually part of the no, price. I thought I they might about. pay for the delivery of the golf cart to your house because they have to take it on a truck. I didn't think of that. I should add a $200 to the, <laughs> <laughs> the shipping. Swap Hyper out. says, I'd get it, but fuck, man, that's three shipping payments overall. Yeah, it sucks. That's, a, that's, the, that's the shitty thing about Indiegogo. Oh, no, I know. Um, it's it does uh, It does blow, so um what did I, I said that at 53 so i think in in two minutes in two minutes um we're going to end the stream and uh and camel's going to take that down so it's now or never yeah it's going to be interesting this. how this um how this uh, shopify thing goes uh i've only just started playing around with all the settings and stuff familiarizing myself with it but you know, hopefully I can do some cool stuff that you can't do on Indiegogo. Well, in yeah, like the work running. on better shipping would probably be a good one. Yeah. Well, there's a, you know, I can set up the shipping so that it's by um, weight, essentially. Oh, uh, okay. So if you if you get one book, it'll be $10 shipping to the States. Um, if you get two, it'll jump up to 15 But if you get... if you I don't know if you wanted to get five for some reason. I don't know why. Um, it wouldn't go. I wouldn't keep jumping up. It would just be stay at fifteen. Mm -hmm. So that you know, the more you get, it would. And and if I can manage to add on other stuff, it'll 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 max out at fifteen. That's the most you'll pay in shipping. It won't just keep ticking up. Yeah. Um. So that's a cool thing. I'm actually gonna. I'm actually gonna have that set up with my add-ons on my painted death campaign too. So it's like fifteen dollars shipping, but you want add-ons? That's free in terms of the mm -hmm. shipping. Like it won't. It won't cost more um, to uh, add stuff to it. I want to incentivize people to add stuff on. I think they will. All right. I hope they will. I hope they will. Yeah. Uh, all right. I think that is it. Um, it's time to end the show. Camel's going to take down that tier. I hope if you wanted it, you were able to grab it. I hope you enjoyed us, the bants and the coloring. I think the piece is coming along great. I can, I know like you guys see it as it is now. I see it when I'm working, how it's going to be. And I, I know how it's going to look. It's going to freaking, it's going to sing. It's going to look really good. Um, so uh, look, look forward to seeing that. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Camel, for hanging out tonight. Um, I'll see you guys. I guess the next time I'll see you is on, what is it? The game show. But I have, to, I have to move that Wednesday, back to midnight Thursday, my okay. time because I have there's a lot of prep work. So I just want to let people yeah, but I'm doing a show now. I'm doing a show now at 9 p.m. that night. So I'll see you then before then. Oh, okay. Right. Um, so, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, the biggest thank you of all goes out to the wonderful, the amazing, spectacular, and ever phenomenal sexiest chat in all of CG. I'll uh, I'll see you guys when I see you. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. I'll see you. Individually, we are weak, like a single twig, but as a bundle, we form a mighty fat.